Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we're going to be continuing on with our Pi game. So alright, last time we had our little ball show up and our border going around and it would take off. That's kind of dumb. So let's have it bounce off of our boundary. So we're going to have to put our thinking caps on. So all right, we need to have a condition to have it change. So let's let's pull back up our our little. Let me make sure you guys can see this. All right, so there we go. Fits perfectly. So we know that this circle is sitting right here. And we know that its radius is 50. So that needs to go into account taking into what our border is. So we've removed 5 on our border. So we need to then, <clears throat> when this reacts, we need to adjust for those two features. And then also we need to do, so when, when the X and the Y are happening, they're randomly generated, and they're between negative 20 and 20. So this is what I want you to think about. So as it's going this way, let's just say it's going up one, over one, up one, right? So as it comes here, it's still going to be going up because we're just we're not going to have it come and bounce back. Its energy is going to go this way. So it's over is going to stay excuse me, it's up is going to stay the same, correct? All that's going to change is the x. So we're then going to change the x to negative. Does that make sense? So I'll say this again. So let's just say, in theory, that it's going over one, up one, a nice little slope of one. And as it hits this wall, we want it to bounce back and go this way. So the up will stay, but the over will just flip, and it just changes to a negative. So let's just start writing this so, it can, so you can see it. And just trust me on the measurements. So, all right, let's get this right. There we go. So if circle X is less than 55, so that means if it's getting over here because we're off the wall 5, our dots per inch, and then adjusting for our radius. Or same thing over here, off 5, radius of 50. This is 600 across. So this is or if circle x is greater than 545, we're going to say the move x equals minus move x. And then the same thing <clears throat> excuse me Same thing if the Y happens. If circle Y fifty five or circle Y Greater than 745 because this was 800, so that's why. But still 55 here because five, uh, five dots plus the radius. And then move Y, and then just the inverse. Not the inverse, excuse me, the negative. 
Okay, so let's see if I did this correct and run this. And oops. Ah, I saw what I did. Win dot quit. Move dot y goes negative. There we go. Didn't know how to do that. And I cannot spell today. My goodness. I'm sorry, guys. Circle. I bet you guys are going nuts watching this, but if you've Watch this before you've heard me say this is not a spelling channel. All right, let me make sure you guys can see both boundaries and boom. Here we go. You ready? Boom, 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 boom. And that's got a little wo weird wobble to it. Let me check my mass. Okay, I don't know if I copied this wrong, but let's do this again. This this is proper. There we go. I don't know if I missed a greater than or less than sign, but uh, oh, I think I had these mixed. I just copied these from my notes. But this this is it, and the, and as you can see, this works. And if you probably slow this down, it probably goes outside of the frame just a touch but this gets the principle done. So there you go. I don't know uh, how much more we might do. I got a couple of ideas, but I haven't drawn them up. But that is how you bounce a ball uh, with Pi Games. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Please leave any comments, questions, or any video requests below, and I'll get right to them. And um, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.